safe guys, Gale here, and today we got the fucking Sakura 2.5 release for the public, that's right. You guys are going to be able to play this shit and actually enjoy it, you know, modify, tweak it, do whatever you want. This is just going to be a, a little demonstration showing you guys some of the things. As you can see I've got the 911 NA, so no turbo. Racing up against Sonny, he's going to get absolutely gapped because all-wheel drive. Yeah, that's right, all-wheel drive swapped we've got. Quite a couple of mods uh, in the package, so you're able to sprint using shift. But you got more neons, a couple other things. I'll have to lift, list them in the patch notes. But yeah, the acceleration on an all-wheel drive is, uh, as you can see, it's pretty fucking crazy. This thing just pulls for days. I probably should have put OBS fucking streamer mode on for no notifications, but it is what it is. Yep. <laughs> Fucking, oh well. Sorry, guys. Enjoy that. Yeah, when you get past the AI, they seem to just die. This is working for 9.43, 46, all the current versions. I believe there are only two bugs as of known, which is photo mode and another one. But yeah, you can see the difference all oh, just clip the corner. You can see the difference all wheel drive makes. Especially in a race. And this is a this is a sloppy ass run by me. This is this is not a good run. So all the gauges work. You have to set them in the base car first. So the first car that you buy, that's the car you wanna set the gauges in. So it goes to the store put the gauges in that can show you uh, you know 460 kilometers an hour an 11k rpm oil temp water temp all that good stuff nitrous if you run nitrous and that will switch over to any car well, any car oh, i do bin it there but it doesn't matter because the ai is so far behind it will apply it to any car that you're running so it just does not matter Yeah, you can see the outside shot of it turning. This thing handles like an absolute monster. I really recommend trying out the 911s. The GTR's good, but the 911 in the corners, oh, it's a beast. It's a beast. And I just start to play with them. You know, I just think, okay, let's see what Gem's cooking. It turns out for some reason that AI just does not want to change gear. Like for what whatever reason he, this man okay, no that's second. He's no. Okay. Let him cook. Let him cook. Okay, so we gotta give him a little boost. Here we go. He's still not changing up. This man is having issues, bro. He must have sniffed a mountain of ketamine before he started driving. So yeah, we're just gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah just see him later. I mean, that's pretty much the race over. I, I think the AI, AI just breaks sometimes. It happens. Hopefully Gem will fix it for the next update, which is... next week, I think. We'll see. Yeah, I gotta turn the fog lights on for that extra brightness. That small gain. Yeah, this thing enters corners at ridiculous speed. I mean, they fuck up, but you can enter at like 360. Not an absolute retard like myself. I'm also gonna be showing off the 200 in this video. If you guys haven't checked that out, I'm actually gonna show. Oh, fucking. Yeah, this is a sketchy run. Uh. I'm going to show the customization real quick. It's sped up because you guys have seen this shit a million times. Just slow it down. If you want to actually uh, investigate all the modifications I do. And my tuning, etc. Yeah, it's not all-wheel drive, man. It's just, that's the race, essentially. So if you get lucky in the auction house and find an all-wheel drive car... You are pretty much set for life. 
All wheel drive life. Eh? All wheel drive life. Fuck me. Englando, not Englando. All wheel drive swap the world. We are we well. We do need to change the stats. We are going to change the stats. Because at the moment, it's essentially 50% power to the front and 50% power to the rear. Which is not how it should be for all cars. It's like you've got an engine in the front and an engine in the rear. It's also how to uh, grips formulated with all-wheel drive. But that's in of itself a different job. There's a couple ways you can tweak it. With good tuning, all-wheel drive cars handle just as nimbly as uh, rear-wheel drive. But the sketchiness of rear-wheel drive uh, does make it entertaining. Yeah, like, you really don't see Sunny again. It says I'm in second, but that man is gone. This is actually a, uh, a decent run. I think I managed a 140? 140-something? I don't I can't recall. It's sketchy though. Not a clean run, but you know, close. And she's still pulling all the way. So, guys, I'm going to shell a little bit here just for the Discord, real quick. Just if you want to see. This is where we post lap times, builds, the mods, you know, custom fucking files, etc. If you need help with things, this is, this is where you want to be, essentially. This is, uh, I think we're nearly at a thousand members now, so thank you guys so much for that. I didn't anticipate, you know, anyone to join. I've made templates for stages and, uh, how to do, like, tracks and stuff, so you know how to make these if you want to participate and show your builds or your lap times and see who is the fastest night runner out there. But yeah, uh, thank you to everyone who joined. We also do, like, tuning builds, mod help. You know, if you're a modeler, we're welcoming modelers to come have a come have a look, check out the different models we're trying to implement. But yeah, Boom created a crazy uh, GTR, with nearly 1,300 horsepower. I don't know how he controls that, or if he does at all. But yeah, that's sunny down and over with. Easy dub. So now we're going to switch over to the 200. The chaser. Yeah, 14071. Okay, not bad. Slowly catching up to the TRK. We need the animations for the leaderboard. It pisses me off so much. It annoys my OCD. Oh yeah, and if you saw there at the bottom right, the engine auction is not working just yet, but you know, it's there. So let's check for some all-wheel drive cars in the auction house, because they are the meta. So, I find a nice little chaser, grade 3, you know, not the worst. It's still missing uh, models and assets in the, <laughs> in the fucking loading screens, but outside in the garage is fine. Like, outside the garage, the car's fine. It's just a little bit, uh, a little bit fucked at the moment. So I believe uh, cars that were factory all-wheel drive have 20% chance of spawning. So the GTR, the Chaser, uh, but don't quote me on that. It is in the Discord, the actual numbers, if you search for them. Yeah, and here's just uh, my all-wheel drive collection. I've got the fucking banana. I've got the non-turbo, the turbo. And then I recently picked up the, the turbo. I haven't got around to customizing it just yet, but I've tested it on another save. And it is busted. So I decided to supercharge this one real quick. Because, you know, shits and giggles, why not? And then, I can't remember how much power I push. Like 650, something like that? Yeah, it's around that. You know, you got to quickly uh, do all the rims, the handling, throw a quick tune on there. Max everything out. The UI isn't fully done, so it won't show everything, but it does change the stats. And yeah, there we go. She should be all done, ready to drive. So it's actually chaser time. Go chase some hose down. You can actually hear the supercharger if you listen. I'm gonna show you guys a little uh, acceleration run. So the top speed of this I think is 350 kilometers. Able to get to, but yeah, 
it's uh, it's no slouch. It gets about and it handles pretty well for the fucking boat that it is. It's not exactly a small car, this one. And that's 300 at the bridge, 330, 3, yeah, but she's just gone, maxed. Way before the bridge ends. Lack of power holding me back. But in the corners, you know, it's surprisingly well. I nearly fucking bin it into this truck coming up, but I've, I managed to pull my ass out of it somehow. I fucking bin it into this truck, but, you know, we don't talk about that. You can just ignore that fact. Gloss over that one real quick. But if you notice, we've also transit well. We. Condi and Fly. The main senior devs of this mod and the assembly who put Sakura together, essentially. Uh, they also translated... So, the subtitles are different. Oh, and ignore the record, that's for testing purposes. 30 and 3? Come on, you know I wouldn't lose on purpose. This is for testing purposes. So, we're going to show you guys a little drag race. Uh, a, cool, a cool thing about all-wheel drive cars is heating up the tyres is quite hard. It doesn't really want to do it. We're going to change the ratio so it's closer to a rear bias and see what else we can do. But... Yeah, at the moment, that's how it be. Well, that is a mod made by... Oh, I'm going to pronounce his name very awfully. It's a, it's a mod by one of the members of the community. Ruski. That's the Danya. He's done a lot of really good mods. He also did the Sprint and the Money... Uh, well, the Money Cheat mod. So if you want money or reputation, just press F5 or F6. And yeah, you get that shit. That's if you want to use that. I've got, I think, two billion for testing purposes. Yeah, tire attempts, they, they, they won't, they won't heal at all. But yeah, all-wheel drive, you are just gone, really. And I think you hit max way before the end of the race in uh, this car, anyway. Needs more power. Yeah, that's about max. That's it. That's all she wrote. And it's just the same again, really. I mean, that is it. You know, you got to take a cheeky screenshot for the boys in the Discord. you got to flex on everyone. Yeah, so, all-wheel drive's a little bit busted at the moment. So, if you guys are having trouble with the game, I, I'd suggest all-wheel drive. I don't know how, considering the AI is not that hard. But, yeah. All-wheel drive makes the game very, very, uh, noob-friendly, I should say. New player-friendly. If you're not used to racing games, I guess, or don't understand fucking car physics. And, yeah, that's about everything, guys, uh, for the mod anyway this little showcase if you wanted to see a more detailed showcase i'd recommend the actual showcase video that i made this is just announcing the release so join the discord and you guys will you know get access and get all the roles appropriate and you'll be able to lurk you know post do whatever you want but yeah i've also want to thank everyone on the patreon who helped me bought a new well like they help me fund a new mic. All the anonymous cuties, male and female, and everything else in between. Because you're all anonymous, I do not know. But yeah, we managed to raise over the amount in under a week, which I am beyond grateful for, really. I mean, I didn't really expect, like, £30, to be, <laughs> to be honest. Thank you, guys, like, seriously. So yeah, like, dislike, comment, share, whatever. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe.